Welcome to the 2011 Consumer Electronics Show. It's Wednesday, January 5th. I'm Natalie Morris, coming to you from Las Vegas this week. It's time to get loaded. We're expecting big announcements out of the big press conferences this week, including companies like Sony, Motorola, and Intel. We do know a few things already about NVIDIA. The company is working hard to encourage 3D. They launched a 3D web page where users can share and view 3D content like games and movies. The site is called 3dvisionlive.com. HP may not be announcing tablets at this show after all. The company invited press to an event in February where it looks like the anticipated Palm Pad will be announced. Asus is ready with tablets though. The company announced a line of tablets and phones here at the show. The ePad Transformer and ePad Slider are Android tablets that will run the Honeycomb variety of Google's operating system. The eSlate will run Windows and the ePad Mimo is an Android phone. Video service Voodoo announced that it will start streaming 3D movies. 3D titles will start appearing on Voodoo menus next week and they will be available in standard and high def. Of course, you need a 3D TV to take advantage of this and we don't know how much they will charge for the streams yet. And finally, if you want to do more gaming on your iPad but you're missing those physical controls, check out the iPad joystick. The Fling is a transparent joystick that suctions to your iPad and gives you better control over your gaming. It costs $25. That's your news for today, but of course we're going to have a lot more for you from the 2011 Consumer Electronics Show, so please stay tuned to CNET TV all week. I'm Natalie Morris for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.